today's Sunday School. I'm so happy to be here and I hope that you're happy to be here with me as well. So, uh, you remember last week I had mentioned towards the end of the Sunday School, if you know of any facts, um, interesting facts from the Bible or just general facts, you could send them in to the email ID and uh, the WhatsApp number that we always display on the screen. So uh, if you haven't done that yet, why don't you do a little bit of research and send us facts that you would like for the world to know. All right. So take time, think about it and go ahead and share them with us. All right. Thank you, kids. All right, children, I'm sure you know what is the next segment for today. Yes, you're right. It is the sing and dance time. And if you are excited just as much as I am, stand up to your feet, loosen up and let's sing and dance for the Lord.
Thank you teachers for those wonderful dance moves. We thoroughly enjoyed them and we hope to also practice them sometime during the week. Thank you once again. All right, children. Now, as teacher Agnes prepares herself to tell us today's story, why not we quickly go and write down the four questions for the quiz time today. So if you're ready with your pen or pencil and a notebook, your first question for today is, what job did Zacchaeus do? What job did Zacchaeus do? The second question, why did people hate Zacchaeus? The second question is, why did people hate Zacchaeus? The third question, uh, it is a fill in the blank. Zacchaeus climbed a tree to see fill in the blank. Zacchaeus climbed a tree to see fill in the blank. So the fourth and the last question is when we decided to let Jesus in our lives fill in the blank comma fill in the blank life and fill in the blank is our portion. So there are three blanks in this question. I'm going to repeat the fourth question again. When we decided to let Jesus in our lives, fill in the blank, comma, fill in the blank, life and fill in the blank is our portion. I hope you got all the four questions right. Very quickly fill in the answers and send them to the email ID and the phone number that you see on your screens. All right, children? All right, now let's quickly, without wasting any time, call on teacher Agnes so that she can share today's story from the Bible. Hey kids, this week we're going to learn the story of a missionary named Hudson Taylor. Are you guys all ready? I'm sure you guys are all. In the year 1832, a baby boy was born in England to Christian parents who prayed to God saying, Grant that he may work for you in China. This baby was James Hudson Taylor. Even growing up in a Christian home, Hudson did not believe in the teachings from the Bible until he was 17 years old. His decision to follow Jesus came one month after his sister decided to pray every day for him. At that point, he felt God call him to China as a missionary to the millions of people who had never heard of Christ. After feeling God's call, Hudson immediately began preparing for the task. He started learning Chinese and studied medicine so he could meet people's physical needs. To prepare himself for the hardship to come, he lived on oatmeal and rice and gave away most of the things trusting God to provide for him. When he was 21, he sailed to China, joining the handful of missionaries serving that nation. Soon after arriving, Hudson realized the Chinese weren't listening to the British missionaries because they looked so strange with their foreign clothes and strange haircuts. So Hudson decided to dress in Chinese clothes and wore his hair in a pigtail which is a long braid down the back like the Chinese men. Many of the other missionaries were shocked, but Hudson's plan worked. People started listening to Hudson. The missionary group that sent Hudson was unable to pay its missionaries in 1857. This news upset Hudson. But you know kids what he did? He left that group and put his full trust in God to provide what he needed and continued his work in China. 
As he continued to work hard, a small church grew along with his faith in God. He started translating the Bible into Chinese to help reach people deep inside China with the gospel. Hudson started the China Inland Missions. By the time Hudson died, there were 825 missionaries serving in every province of China, 300 mission stations, 500 local Chinese helpers and over 25,000 new Chinese Christians. The gospel had come to China and the church is still growing and flourishing because of the sacrifice and efforts of people like Hudson. Kids, we saw how the prayer of Hudson's parents and his sister was answered. Remember kids to always pray for your church friends, relatives and everyone you know because our prayers raise men and women for God. Hey kids, it is so good to see you all back again and I'm sure you guys love that story. You, we learned from that story how the prayers of Hudson's parents and his sister raised him up to become a man of God who took the gospel to China and till today churches are flourishing because of this man. Yes kids, so this week's learning will be our prayers raise men and women for God. So we need to start learning to pray for others. Let's say that learning together again. Our prayers rise men and women for God. Yes kids, so always remember to for others and this week's memory verse will be what you find on earth is bound in heaven and what you release on earth is released in heaven Matthew chapter 18 verse 18 let's say that memory verse together again what you find on earth is bound in heaven and what you release on earth is released in heaven Matthew chapter 18 verse 18 Bye. All right, children. Uh, now with the story time over, let's quickly move on to the next segment, which is the art and craft segment. Teacher Monica is ready to teach us something new today. Let's go and find out. watching you do that and I know our children were excited too. Thank you. All right, so now is the fun facts time from the Bible and from the rest of the world. Uh, and children, this is exactly uh, the time where you can share um, uh, any facts that you know of and, and we uh, will talk about that uh, next Sunday in the fun facts segment. So if you know anything, you know where to send them, right? All right, for now, let's call on Teacher Agnes. 
quick facts time welcome back kids here are two quick facts from the bible fact number one the last word in the bible is amen fact number two there are a total of 185 songs in the bible here are two general facts fact number one the space out there is completely silent Fact number two, Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system with an average surface temperature of 450 degrees Celsius. Whoa. Catch you all next week. Bye. Oh my God. I just didn't know any of those. Thank you, teacher Agnes, for sharing such fun facts. You really get us so curious to know more about these facts. Sometimes I go back home and do a little more research on everything that you have shared. So thank you, Teacher Agnes. All right, children, that was so much fun today. Before we leave, shall we pray? Hello, kids. Let us pray. Repeat after me. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We praise you. Thank you Lord for the Sunday school. Thank you Lord for the Bible story and the songs that we learn today. Protect us and help us to grow in your wisdom and in your ways. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you uh, for joining us, children. I hope you had a great time of fun and learning. I hope to see you all again next Sunday. Until then, stay blessed, uh, be happy, uh, learn new things and share them with us if, if you would like to. And always, always keep smiling. Bye.